In this video, I will show you how to fix these errors while trying to launch Tinfoil. Let's get started. This guide should be used solely on the MUMMC environment unless your console is bad. I have replaced the tinfoil variant in the latest head spec with the applet version. As a result, you will not be able to launch it if you don't have a working game on the home screen. I made this change to prevent people from getting banned if they accidentally run tinfoil on the SysMMC CFW. This video was made to help you overcome the obstacle, so please make sure to watch it carefully and follow all the steps. The easiest way to solve this issue is to have a game card. Any game card will work. However, if you don't have a game card, you will need to have a game and update file in the NSP, NSE, or the XCI format. You can find it anywhere on the internet. Let's assume you already have a game card. Insert it into the console. Now we need to access the HB menu in the non applet mode. To do that, simply highlight the game, press and hold the R button, then launch it. Then run tinfoil. If you happen to come across this message, please disregard it for now. At least, you can launch Tinfall without encountering the memory insufficient error. Suppose you don't have a game card but still want to launch Tinfall. The easiest way to achieve this is to use the Tinfall self-installer. However, we need to avoid this scenario because there is a risk that someone could accidentally launch it while running the SysMMC CFW, which could result in a console ban. In this section, I will show you how to install a digital game using DBI via the FTP server method. Ensure your console and your computer are connected to the same Wi-Fi network in your home. Now open the homebrew menu normally, then choose DBI. Choose run FTP server. Choose where you want to install the game. I chose SD card. Now you can find the FTP server address on your console screen. You should enter the address displayed on your console screen into your FTP client software. There are numerous FTP client software options available, but I prefer the Flash FXP. Click the Quick Connect icon. Now type in the IP address that you obtained from the console screen. And press Connect. On the left panel, open the folder where you have stored the game file. Now drag the game file to the right panel. Close DBI after completing the game installation. And now, highlight the game, press and hold the R button while launching it. Try to launch Tinfoil. Great, there's just one more thing left to solve, the SSL. Now, let's move on to the next section. Go back to the home screen, then access the Tesla menu by pressing and holding the L button, the pad down, and press down the right analog stick. Now choose Quick NTP, and select Sync Time. Observe the console time on the screen. If it is out of sync, it will automatically synchronize with the global time. Now let's attempt to relaunch the homebrew menu in the non-applet mode and run Tinfoil.
If you encounter garbled text on the screen, please try relaunching Tinfoil. And that's how we should run Tinfoil if using the non-applet version. Thank you for watching the video, and see you next time.